the ME 2001 was, it came into service about, it was, it was designed in the mid 60s and was the first generation of broadcast colour cameras and which was a major rev revolution in television obviously, you know, the advent of colour was, was a major event and that what made it possible over the black and white cameras was the invention of a much smaller tube. Um, the black and white cameras had a, a long tube, an image orthicon tube that was about that long for, for one colour, black, you know, monochrome. And suddenly they produced a tube that was that long and they suddenly thought, well, we could make a camera that's, that's physically small enough to operate. And can I put the side up? And if you look inside, this was, there were different designs going out and you talked about Dave and the the Philips cameras, the Pi cameras later on, but they came up with a unique design uh, to make the camera as short as possible, uh, which was very important in restricted space in studios. So although it's big, it's front to back length compared with other cameras like the Philips, which they had the lens bolted onto the front of the camera. They took the view of this one. We'll put all the, t all the tubes, the, the, there are two, four tubes this camera had, three colours, red, green, blue, and a luminance signal, which gave you the black and white signal, different to that one, to Dave's one. And they crushed it all at the back here and put all the boards, the technical boards. Do you want to put the other side up, Rex? On that. So there are two tubes this side, um, and it's the red and the blue, and round here. You've got the other two tubes the there. The other two tubes there. And all the technology and all the servos associated with the lens, which is here, uh, are, are round it. And the reason for that is that rather than sticking the lens on the front, they left a hole in the middle and the lens slid into the body of the camera to make it shorter and more manageable. 